Okay, so part two of our four-part session in using and managing database queries in Excel, we're going to be covering creating a complex query as well as going into the query to make adjustments after we've created it in Excel. So let's take the first uh, part, creating a complex query. What we're going to do is in our first session, we brought over the AP underscore vendor table from Mass. Now we're going to bring over two tables from Mass to create what will eventually become an open invoice report. So our two tables in question to create an open invoice or an aging report is going to be the AP underscore vendor table and the AP underscore open invoice table. We're going to use the same area that we brought over our first table with, the data tab from other sources. We're going to go to from Microsoft Query. We're going to find our SOTAMS90 data source. We're going to log in using our mass credentials. And now we're going to go back to our AP underscore vendor table. And as opposed to bringing over all the fields as we did in our first session, we're only going to bring over the vendor number and vendor name. The rest of the information that we're going to use is all enclosed in the AP underscore open invoice table. So we're going to go back and we're going to find the AP underscore open invoice table. And we're going to grab the invoice number, the invoice date, bring over the invoice due date. We're going to find the invoice amount and we're going to find the invoice balance. We're going to hit next. We can choose to filter the data. I'm actually going to bring over everything in that table. We're going to go through the sort order, bypass it. We're going to return the data to Microsoft Excel. We're going to return our data to cell A1 of our current tab. We're going to log in one more time using our mass credentials. And we're going to find that we have brought over pieces of information from two different tables in mass, the AP underscore vendor table and the AP underscore open invoice table. So as you can see, we can bring in multiple tables of data into Excel just as we would bringing over one table. Now if we go back into the data tab, once we have this information in Excel and we want to go back into one of those tables to either add information to our export or remove information from our export, we can go into the data tab, we can go into the connections button, we can find our query, we can go to properties, click on the definition tab, click on edit query, it's going to ask us to log into Mass. We do get a message here that the query cannot be edited by the query, query wizard. That's okay. We now have our query and again we brought over information from two tables. You'll notice that these two tables are already linked together automatically. So all we need to do 
if we wanted to bring over information from one of the tables, let's say that we wanted to bring over address line 1, we can simply double click on it and you'll find that that information is now in our query. Likewise, if we'd like to remove that table of information, we can simply highlight it and hit delete. Once we're done with our selection, we can click on our return data button. We can hit OK. And again, anytime we make changes to our query, we're going to log in using our mass credentials and close. And the information is returned to Excel. That concludes our second session in creating a query using multiple tables in mass as well as going into Query Wizard to adjust the information.